When American investment lands in Australia, it's usually in big licks, driving growth and jobs right out to the far northwest and Gina Reinhardt's $10 billion project at Roy Hill. We needed to borrow more than US $7 billion, which was quite a task, given this became the largest largely greenfield debt funding for a mainland resource project anywhere in the world, in the world's history. We're proud to say we're ahead of time paying back the 19 major banks and five ECAs and have given General Electric's magnificent train locomotives a very warm welcome in the program. The mining magnate worked with GE from the start to continually upgrade Roy Hill's critical locomotives in software and fuel efficiency. USA is a world leader in technology, automation and robotics, which along with cutting red tape and taxes, is critical to improving productivity and competitiveness in Australian businesses and what we are already doing in agriculture and at Roy Hill with drones, automation of drills and robotics in the mine site and port laboratory as well as efficient train operations and battery technology to reduce power costs. So I'd like to see us welcoming USA investment towards working with Australian companies to commercialise world leading technology including for military applications to improve sustainability, safety, productivity and competitiveness of our businesses. Gina Reinhardt is now personally weighing in to fight the pandemic, funding a new international study based in Brisbane, just approved by the TGA, to see a better hospital protocol for treating patients with COVID-19. She's also funding the expenses for three American hospitals to be involved. It's aiming to save lives and shorten hospital stays. I think this is very important, given even if scientists found a vaccine in the next few months, it would then take months for testing and government approvals, and more months for large-scale manufacture and distribution. So in the interim, we need improved protocols for helping patients suffering with COVID-19.